The American dream of trying to own a home with a solid mortgage is only getting tougher nowadays as mortgage rates, they have hit their highest level since the year 2001. Yes, 21 years. Just another blow to home buyers in this country. In further detail, the average long-term mortgage rate climbing further above 7% this week to its highest level since 2001. More stress for home buyers grappling with rising home prices and a stubbornly low supply of properties on the market. You heard that right. Earlier this week, the U.S. Commerce Department announced that the inventory of existing homes is near historically low levels as rising mortgage rates continue to dissuade existing homeowners who are currently locked into low rates from putting their homes on the market. And it makes a lot of sense, actually. Why sell a home only to have to buy a new one with a mortgage rate that could, quite frankly, give you a heart attack? But back to the rates. Mortgage buyer Freddie Mac said Thursday that the average rate on the benchmark 30-year home loan climbed to 7.23% from 7.09% last week. Just one year ago, the rate, 5.55%. It's also the fifth consecutive weekly increase for the average rate, which is now at its highest since early June 2001, when it averaged 7.24%. And for those that may not know, if you have no understanding of finance, high rates can add hundreds of dollars a month in costs for borrowers, limiting how much they can afford in a market already unaffordable to many Americans. They also discourage homeowners who are locked in at low rates two years ago from selling what they have right now. Well, if you take into consideration, well, take this into consideration, the average rate on a 30-year mortgage remains more than double what it was two years ago, when it was just 2.87%. It's a key reason new home listings are down nearly 21% nationally in July from one year earlier because, again, why sell to enter an inflated market when you are financially more secure just by sitting still? And in case you were wondering, the lack of housing supply is also weighing on sales of previously occupied U.S. homes, which are down right now 22.3% through the first seven months of the year versus the same period last year. So yes, the U.S. housing market not looking that promising right now. High mortgage rates, a lack of supply, and general inflation combining to produce a poor outlook in the U.S. real estate market. So the real question now is this. How long is this going to last? Is this a long-term concern, or will this soon be a distant memory? Viewers, share your thoughts in the comments below. And from Modern Wall Street, I'm James Swinney.